Since probably the beginning of time, women have always been looked down upon, and only a hundred years ago we earned the right to vote, so I think women becoming more and more important in fields can show people the true importance of women and why we need them. The one thing, it's a girls thing, it's real important. We don't want to just wait until girls are juniors or seniors in high school to talk to them about opportunities in the technology side, that starting grade school, junior high, it's the time to talk about and expose them to all the different possibilities there are out here. The greatest thing is when the students come in here and they see what we're doing and they ask questions. Most of the girls are not intimidated about it. They come in, you know, once one of them, I see one hand go up and it's like, okay, you don't have to raise your hand, just ask your question, you know, just shout it out because it's a little noisy in here. It, it's just great to see, you know, it's like contagious. Somebody asks a question, the next girl asks a question, the next one. The curiosity's there, you know, and it, it's, it's, uh, it's so great to be able to, you know, fill, fill that void, you know, the answers. I went to three S&T camps when I was in middle school and high school, so I have always been really interested in them, and I know that like that's why I chose to come to S&T. So I really wanted to get to influence the campers now into possibly going to S&T and like learning about STEM. What's cool about that though is the home can actually see what direction the wind is blowing, and then it can open up various right windows. There. Oh, is it that one? Okay, I, I knew it was one. They're all so intelligent, and they're middle schoolers. And so it's really cool to see them talk about the math and science that they like and how they want to be engineers. Like, what, it's more energy if, like, people had, like, rugs and stuff. Oh, like, not when I get older, I think I probably want to be a nuclear engineer because lately I've been trying to create a power plant. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but just trying to create one. From scraps of paper and a lot of time, just like writing out a little blueprint. Now, 28.6. Well, I figured since I heard about the power plant disaster after the 2011 tsunami, and I was like, you know, I'd like to make a power plant that could prevent that. So I thought of some ideas, and I decided it would be like a dome, sort of like a lead lined dome with the power plant part inside and the smoke coming out of the tubes and it just be pretty technological. Yay, I got it! All right. 3.9. Let your curiosity guide you. I mean, you spend your whole life learning, you know, reading, exposure, just keep exploring because there's, like I say, there's a great many things out there. Uh, learning never stops and don't be, you know, I say don't be intimidated. Go explore.